So my dad had a rule. He said, the theater has to be self-sustaining. Well, we've had some challenges recently where that may not be the case. So Christensen Communications has had to pick up a little bit of the slack just to keep it going. But we are firmly confident that going forward, it's gonna completely come back around once the movie theater industry comes back around. And when that happens, we'll be good to go. Until then, we will not let this fail. First name is Glenn it's Christensen. As the president and CEO of Christensen Communications, which owns the Medelia Theater, I'm also responsible for the theater. People just lose that connection. I mean, if the theater ever, you know, went away. And I'm from a small town too, so we definitely supported the local theater. Is we haven't raised ticket prices in 33 years. So when it reopened in 1991, we set a ticket price. That didn't change. Well, we just kept this for historical perspective because this used to be how you had to make the reels work. You had to like work all this together. You had to like tie it in together. This is where the reels used to go and that's how they would number them. We always talk about the next generation. They don't understand. They don't get it. They're not like what we were used to be. They don't understand walking up a hill to go to school, etc. Yes, they do. They really do. It's not changed that much. Every generation has looked back at the previous generations and said, we had it harder than you did. But they get it. They really do. And, and so I think, oh, the most positive thing I could say is that's not going to go away. They still want to be a family. They still want to be with their friends. They still want to be a part of a community. And we can say this all we want about how it's not like it used to be. No, yeah, actually it is. And we had challenges in the past and we have challenges now, but it is like it used to be. We just are evolving a little bit. So let's invite them back. We came here to watch the Barbie movie, I know for sure, and now we're here to watch Ghostbusters. Um, I'm here with my mom, my dad, my brother, and my friend Catherine. I really just like coming here with friends and family. I just really like the people here. They're really nice. It's something about, you know, being able to get theater popcorn. It's something about getting a theater pop, something about getting theater candy, and sitting in there and watching a movie that really resonates with this younger generation. You know, you definitely have to support the local communities. Um, that, that's what keeps them going. Closing the theater is not going to happen. I served in the Air Force for a long time, and there's a phrase I have that drives my team here at CCC nuts. Closing that theater is a hill I will die on. So it's not going to happen. If it did, you'd have a hole. So, no, the theater is not going away. If it did, that would be a problem. It was my dad's passion project, and I'm, I, I want to do my best to carry that on.